Yes, Michael, I'm being joined today by representatives from the organization called P2 Inc., which is an organization that has launched a campaign uh, uh, to promote understanding and the tolerance of homosexuality in South Africa through the creation of a gay SA flag. And I'm being joined today by Henry, Huge, and Ndumi, also from uh, Luleki Caesar. Welcome, guys. Good to have you guys Thank here. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Now, it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a, a tough topic to, dis to discuss this time of the morning, but uh, mm -hmm. if we could just start it off by um, Ndumi. Explain to us um, the, the, the concept, or describe to us the concept and the severity of, of corrective rape. Um, the, the name or the term corrective rape, it actually was raised in 2000, where um, we were discovered that most of the women in the previous years were being raped uh, by men because of their saying that correcting them from who they are. So then, because of that, we said it calls corrective rape. Yes. Because they, they were hoping and they are still hoping that they are correcting the girls by raping them and changing them from their sexuality. Mm -hmm. And of course, I mean, it, the, the effect thereof is, 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 is it goes further than just um, the act itself. I mean, there's, we, we live in a, in a time where disease is rampant, where you mm -hmm. know, STDs are, are, are out and about. And, and also, most of the girls, they become HIV positive yes. out of that. Exactly. Yes, but also they are not correcting by doing so because this is who you are and it's not going to go anywhere. Yeah. So there's no such a thing as correcting yeah. someone. So tell me about um, Luleki Cizre and uh, what, what prompted you to, to start that? Luleki Cizre started with me personally uh, when I lost my fiancé uh, through the corrective rape who got plotted by five guys at gunpoint uh, by her best friend actually. It happened in the Eastern Cape and um, it, she died in 2005. And also, together with the other friend of mine, who was an, an active, open, gay person who got also raped mm -hmm. by a family member, uh, it becomes a family matter in her, in, in her side. Mm -hmm. So I then, uh, you know, because of also, there were so many women that also got raped because of their sexuality, and nothing has been said or done about that. Mm -hmm. I then, in 2008, in response to that, I personally uh, sat down and uh, gathered some few friends where I sold the idea to them. Uh, and then we came up with the name Luleki Sizwe, which is we've taken two names of the women. Uh, Luleki comes from Luleka, yes. Sizwe comes from No Sizwe, which is my late fiance's second name. Mm -hmm. Then we joined those names together. We call it Luleki Sizwe. Yes. It's to discipline the nation constructively. And then how do you then do that? It's through lobbying and advocacy. Uh, we empower the, the young women, the vulnerable age yes. women who got raped because of their sexuality, women also who got evicted from their homes because of uh, the virus itself and also because the other parents cannot accept the fact that my daughter is a lesbian. Yeah. So one gets evicted from her and home. That's always the, the difficult point to start Exa off Exactly. From. And some of them are actually on drugs and some of them, uh, when they come to Cape Town and seek work, they don't find jobs. Then they ended up being prostitutes. And then that's how we rest the whole situation, we're resting, actually arresting the, the whole situation mm -hmm. by Luleki Sizwe. We empower those women. We even establish the soccer team wow. out of that. Yes, the girls are kicking the ball into the poles. That's fantastic. Yeah, <laughs> 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 yes, yeah. yes. And you know, by having the, the actual Luleki Sizwe soccer uh, uh, team, they feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. There is no discrimination. Yeah. We also we collaborate with other organizations. We're also working with Ili Talabandu. If we've got an emergency, for instance, uh, the victims in terms of uh, therapy, mm -hmm. we refer them to Ili Talabandu in NY2, where we, we collaborate with them. Uh, I'm proudly to, to, to announce this to the South African people that yes. Songe Gender Justice also came on board right. as male, saying that we are also saying it's about time that we work together with the people and fight patriarchy. So Lulekis is, uh, is a tiny but powerful organization. Yeah, I mean, just judging yes. by what you've just said, I mean, the successes are really many that you've, that you've achieved so far. Yes, yes, we, we, we're trying our best. We started uh, one, if we follow the history of Lulekis, is where we started. We started in a cabin. Uh, wow. People are calling it a, 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 a shack, but I call it a cabin. It's very nice <laughs> when you call it American. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it makes one feel comfortable. Right. So we started in a cabin yes. uh, where there's no aircon, where when it's flooded, you'll have to hold the basin, but the work is more than that. Yes. Where when there's an incident and women will come and sleep in that very same cabin, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it gets packed away, it ended up like other one has to sleep in the sleeping couch, on the floor, 
and bad in my car. So and it becomes... Amazingly enough, like, you, you have come to the point that you exactly. have. Thank you very much. And I just want to talk to, to Henry and Hugh as well and ask them about you know, creating uh, the, gay, the gay flag, SA Hub. You know, how, how does the, the symbolism of the two flags mm -hmm. coming together you know, help your work? Yeah, well, the flag I designed primarily to create a South African gay or queer identity and then also to empower organizations and charities and activists like Ndumi. Mm -hmm. So we're making it available for charities and NPOs. We're making it available for individuals who want to get involved and create a South African gay and lesbian identity mm -hmm. and empowering people. The profits of the flag sales go directly to the Lekki mm -hmm. and also now Cape Town Pride coming up in the next month. Month. Of course. Yeah. Thank you very much. And uh, Henry, um, you know, have you actually seen any difference in, in the work that you that you are doing? Oh, absolutely. I mean, this flag is only, um, I think it's less than two months old. It was um, launched uh, December 18th uh, at Cape Town Stadium. Mm -hmm. But we definitely have seen a lot of positive um, comments uh, in the media. Uh, we spoke on 5FM yesterday as well, and we've uh, we've also gotten some interesting letters from people, especially young people, yeah. saying that it gave them a lot of courage wow. actually um, wow. to come out because this is something that they're very very proud of. And we, I mean, th the flag was launched here in Cape Town just because we live in Cape Town, mm -hmm. but you know we plan to take this um, cross country. Yeah. Uh, Huge has an idea of getting sort of like a Priscilla, Queen of the Desert bus <laughs> uh, to take it all over. So if there are any sponsors uh, out there who are interested uh, so yeah we've speaking had of, speaking mm -hmm. of sponsors where can yes. they get a hold of you they could get a, a hold of us um, they could go to info at yeah. p2-inc.com that's yeah. p the number two dash ink as in the ink in your pen <laughs> i-n-k yeah. dot com for wow. more information on this guys thank you so so much for joining thank us you. and you know sharing thank you very much there we go thank and you. i mean we do live in a time where understanding and tolerance is key in order to build a, a society that can prosper and one band that does believe in in uh, understanding and tolerance is you too and they're going to be performing i think this weekend coming up but we have um we have the opening act uh, of you two joining us in the studio today and ewan's got us covering on that so let's check that